And De Bendun running for the defending champions, Belgium in the outside lane. Jordi Ave, the junior champion of 2015 for France. Altintas making a strong start for Turkey, as is Sorm for the Czech Republic in lane two. And it looks like it's going to be Van der Benden coming across to take the lead. He does, so Belgium lead from Poland, from France, on the Czech Republic. Turkey just ahead now of them. Van der Benden going well, but being tracked down by the pole now. It's Poland, France coming up well, so to Turkey. And the Czech Republic with... Uh, Poland now, though, very much into the forefront here. Kozlowski's run a good leg. He'll hand over to Kravchuk for France. It's uh, Corbier who's taken over from Jordier. Then Belgium have Julian Vautrin. Then Turkey. A little bit of a balking at the back there. But it's Poland going all out here from France and Belgium. Turkey, Ukraine. The Czech Republic a lot to do, but just coming up on the outside now is uh, Jan Tessar. He's moving up into fifth, hoping to move up into fourth. Still going on in front though, Kravchuk for Poland. And Belgium being challenged now by the Frenchman, Corbier. Fortran trying to hold that inside lane. The Czech Republic's uh, little burst didn't really materialise too strongly. As for Poland, it's uh, Vasinski taken over and they're looking for a double, having won the women's event. And it's looking good because they've got a very big gap over the Czechs who, for whom Maslach will have to do something quite out of the ordinary. So it's Poland now who lead. Can they win the double? Belgium though, Kevin Borle is running really well for them. He's coming up, he might get a lead. France in third place, Czech Republic now in fourth. The ones who are out of it are the Turks right at the back of the field. Kevin Borle now challenging. Vasinski of Poland, but Vasinski is holding him off down the inside. On the last leg, we'll have a Melko for Poland and Dylan Borle for Belgium. And they're going to be much and much side by side. And then France well back in third place. Uh, Maslak surely has just taken the battle now, but he's some 30 odd metres down. Let's concentrate on this battle up front. We've got a Melko, the individual silver medalist for Poland. He leads from Dylan Borle for Belgium, who's holding him. Just about three metres behind, though. For France, Jan Decimus. Masatlak is running for Czech Republic, but he's made up a bit of ground, but it's going to be too much to do. He might just key off third, though, the way he's going. Maslak coming into fourth, but right up front. It's Amelko who's holding it and looking for a double for Poland. And he's going away from Dylan Borle. A fine run by Rafael Amelko. He ran round in the individual and he's bringing Poland home to a sweeping victory. Silas gets across, so it's Spain in first place, Belgium, Great Britain, Poland, France and Italy, that's the order as they come up, with 50 metres to go to the first handover. Running a good leg, well Spain handover first, but Chalmers ran a good final 50 metres to give Britain second place at the handover but it's now Dylan Borley who's taken over in second place Manuel Guerrero semi-finalist in the 400 meters completing the first 200 meters of his leg Dylan Borley and Joe Bryan that's the one two three at the moment Guerrero 
running very well. Dylan Morley just tracking him. Little bit of daylight back to Briar. And coming the long way round, Rafael Amelko, who's ran so many good legs for Poland. Well, now it's Dylan Morley to Jonathan Morley. The Belgians in front. Lucas Buer in second place. Well, Jonathan Morley putting a bit of distance between himself and Lucas Buer. I think this may well turn out to be the crucial leg because the Spanish don't have a strong runner on the last leg. Ben Alerta. Buer now closing down a bit on Jonathan Borle getting up on his shoulder. Borle suddenly starting to look very tired over the last 30, 40 metres. So it's going to be Buer who hands over to Erta in the lead. It's the Spaniard in the lead. Can he resist the former European champion outdoors, Kevin Borle? No, Kevin Borle now making up the ground very quickly up onto the shoulder of Erta. Long way back in third, it's the Poles leading the way for the bronze medal battle at the moment. But France and Great Britain, Northern Ireland on the shoulder of Damien Chikia. Well, at the front, a good five metres between the first two and the rest. Bernal Erta. Well, he's been trying his best, but now coming round the outside, it's Kevin Borley. Belgium on their way to regaining the title they won back in 2015. Well, as I say that, Erta battling back. Erta really working hard, but just can't quite get up on the shoulder of... and Belgium. Well, start the team quickly for Britain, Joseph Breyer. Britain indeed do have the quickest man over this first of two legs, but now Rockendobbo has taken the lead. now starting to stride away coming up over to the handover behind him Dick Muller better known as a 400 meter hurdler but doing a fine job on this opening leg for Czech Republic so Dobber will hand over to the man who finished third in the individual 400 meters Lee Marvin Bonassia bit of tussling between the Italians and the Czechs that's Robert Grant and Pavel Maslak Maslak three-time European indoor champion but didn't make the final on this occasion but Maslak now really chasing down Monavasia Monavasia the fastest man in Europe this year 45-99 the only man under 46 seconds is really storming away Maslak running a terrific leg and now trying to come round Bonavasia well, Bonavasia just looked a little bit tired, and it is going to be Maslak who hands over. So Maslak hands over to Michael Dzenski. Late change. Ramsey Angela now taking the lead, going round Dzenski. Checks having to bring in a substitute, late substitute. Jella now putting about three meters between himself and his Czech rival James Williams running a very good third leg for the Britons closing down on Dzenski and it's still Angela in front as they come over to the final changeover Tony Van Dapen Van Dapen the silver medalist Last night, being chased by Patrick Sorm. Great Britain have Lee Thompson on the last leg. It's still Van Diepen. Van Diepen cleverly assessing what's happening behind him as they reach the final 200 metres. And it's going to be a thrilling finale. 
Netherlands, Czech Republic and Great Britain all seemingly the teams that are going to be on the podium Kevin Borley trying to close down the three teams in front of him and he's doing a good job but it's Van Diepen in front Van Diepen running away from his rivals and it's going to be the Netherlands that take gold Czech Republic silver Great Britain and Northern Ireland the bronze Van Diepen was given the lead and never relinquished it over the two final laps of the track 30606